In this video, I'm going to introduce you to how to search, navigate, and pivot from certificates in the Census Search UI. Let's start with an example certificate record. To keep with the starting point established in our previous video, let's start with Google's public DNS host record. In the Explore tab for the host record, we can find a certificate related to the host. Let's view it. You can navigate directly to a certificate if you know its SHA-256 hash. At the top of the page is the certificate's common name, or CN. In this case, it is dns.google. Click the drop-down arrow next to the Certificate Summary tab to view the certificate in OpenSSL or ASN1 format. On the Certificate Summary tab, you can see top-level information about the certificate, like the subject DN, issuer DN, validity period, names on the certificate, and census-applied labels. You can click any of the name or label entries to run a pre-formatted query for that field and value pair. Beneath the basic information are the fingerprints for the certificate, along with public key and signature information. At the bottom of this page are the extensions for the certificate. The names in the SAN table contain links to pre-formatted queries for these names. On the right side of the page are several boxes highlighting additional information about the certificate. The Browser Trust section indicates whether the certificate is trusted by the four major browsers. Additional information and visual representations of these trust relationships are provided in the Trust tab for the certificate. The Key Usage section provides information about the purpose of the key contained in the certificate. The Census Metadata box shows when the certificate was added, last updated, whether it was seen in certificate transparency logs and labels. The ZLint tab is a report of the results from running the ZLint tool, which checks the certificate for conformance with RFC 5280 and CA Browser Forum baseline requirements. The PEM tab contains the certificate in PEM format. Click Raw Data to view the entirety of the fields parsed from the census scan of the certificate in a table or JSON format. The data table is particularly useful for finding additional field and value pairs to pivot from. You can click the magnifying glass for any pair to run a query for it. The Explore menu provides queries you can run that explore other resources the certificate is associated with, including certificates with the same public key or same names, as well as hosts using the certificate. These queries are helpful for building an understanding of useful fields for additional certificate searches. Now that you know more about certificate records, let's walk through the search results page for certificates. Let's run a broad query that will return a large number of results. Let's search for certificates that have domain-style names similar to Microsoft in any of their name fields. We will use a single-character wildcard in place of the second O. Remember that you can click the command line icon in the search bar to generate a curl for your search query that you can use with the Census Search API. We can use the filters available in the left sidebar to pivot from our initial results. For example, we may want to explore self-signed certificates returned from our initial search for follow-up. We can also leverage the Reports feature, just like with hosts, to see a grouped visual representation of this data sorted by a field that interests us. That wraps up our tour of certificate records and searching certificates. 